Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. The video is disturbing and made national headlines. And today, a judge threw the book at a former Atlanta police officer caught on camera attacking an unarmed teen. Investigators say the teen was riding in a stolen car. Yeah, let's get straight to 11 Alive's Elwin Lopez. She's going to walk us through why it took so long for the sentence to be handed down after the officer pleaded guilty. El yeah, Ron, Aisha, this sentence comes three years after the attack. Matthew John's defense attorney was hoping for a different outcome for her client. She claims PTSD was to blame for the former officer's actions on the day he beat an unarmed teen. Mr. Johns is someone who is in need of help. He is not in need of incarceration. He is in need of some mental health services. And take a look at this video. It shows a John's running up to Antrabius Payne, stomping on the 15 year old's head and pressing his knee into Payne's neck. That's what led John's to this courtroom. John's attorney wanted him to get help for his PTSD as part of his sentence. The former IPD officer served two tours in Iraq as a Marine before he became a police officer. John's was since fired and pled guilty to eight crimes, including aggravated assault. John's attorney said today in court, her client did indeed go to the VA's office. He did go and he, he didn't follow up. And part of the reason why he didn't follow up is because of the stigma associated with P PTSD. And today, Johns was sentenced to 20 years in jail, but he will have to serve five of those. We asked our legal analyst, Latonya Hines, what might have left to this outcome? The officer is being held to a higher standard because when you take that oath of office and when you have that badge, um, it gives you the authority to be able to use violence in a particular way and um, not just, you know, in, in a, you know, irrational way. And next month, another high profile case in a police shooting will play out in court. Air Force veteran Anthony Hill was shot and killed in March 2015, more than four years ago by former DeKalb County police officer Robert Olson. Hill wasn't wearing clothes at the time and was unarmed when Olson shot him. Hill's family says the victim was dealing with PTSD at the time. Our legal analyst says it's hard to point out at this time how Olson's fate might compare to that of John's. Take a listen to what she told me. So when we have these use of force cases, you have to take them individually for each individual case. The facts are different. The officers, the situation, why they're being called out there can be different. Olson's trial is set for September 23rd. Ron? All right.